everyone, I'm Erica Hosking, and today we're here with the Perch Executive Chef, Chef Kimberly. Hi everyone. And we have a special treat for you. We're gonna be doing a holiday special with our Kalamazoo cooking items, specifically their infamous hybrid grill and their countertop pizza oven. So with that being said, I'm gonna let Chef Kimberly take it from here and walk us through that delicious menu. Hi everyone, welcome. So today we have a not so traditional holiday menu. We're gonna do a little bit of pork loin, which is super simple, but yet it looks beautiful enough to put on that Thanksgiving table or Christmas table, whichever you like. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that on the rotisserie using some the smoking function on this grill. Um, and then we're going to do a grilled apple chutney. We're also gonna have a little glaze at the end on top of that pork loin. So Erica, let's get started. Yes, put me to work. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is we are going to go ahead and do a nice little smoky rub that I did. So I just took Montreal steak seasoning, a little bit of smoked paprika. You can use any kind of like smoke seasoning that you like. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and cover this up with it. Just get in All there. Right. Slap it around, Give do it what you nice gotta little, do. <laughs> a little yeah. massage. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's just lather her up. Yeah. I like so, a good crust. So while you're doing that, I have right here some applewood smoke, um, smoke chips and some mesquite smoke chips that I soaked. So we're just gonna go ahead and do an aluminum foil. We're gonna ignite this in there just to kind of get that smokiness started on their dragon burner. So I'm gonna poke some holes in this. How are you doing over there? Looks nice. I think, I think she's ready. <laughs> Is she ready? Are she's we naming ready. her? She's ready Is to she be kissed <laughs> by that smoke. That's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna set those in there, kind of get that ignited. All right, so our grill is almost up to temperature. We're roasting everything today, so we want to keep the, uh, the grill at about 375 degrees, so everything's getting cooked at the same temperature. Um, and with this, we don't even need to have the rotisserie burner on. They do have the infrared rotisserie burner on the, on the backside, um, but the grill gets so hot that all you need is the dragon burner and the igniter burner up front. So. When would you suggest using that infrared burner on the back? If you're just doing uh, like uh, a rotisserie chicken or just by it, something by itself and you're not necessarily roasting anything else at the same okay. time, you can just use a rotisserie burner or a rotisserie burner and then a dragon burner. As long as you keep your temperature at around 375, 425 while you're roasting, just like you would in your oven. Perfect. That's all you need. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. I think she looks good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the spit. Uh, are you familiar with uh, roasting or rotisserie? Have you done you know, a lot of it? <laughs> I do love a good rotisserie chicken that I eat, uh -huh. but I've never actually rotisserie myself. Oh, okay. So this is new for me. So I'm so excited to see this happen live. Yeah, so I marinated this the night before and then I went ahead and just tied it with butcher's twine to kind of keep it in place. Okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and stab it in there. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of pull it through. Okay. There you go. Nice. And then I'll go ahead and take these. And you can take your gloves off if you okay. like, kind of switch them out. Just so you're not like touching your face by accident, uh, you know? We don't want that. Agree. That is not what we want. <laughs> Kalamazoo actually has a video of these ribs. It looks so good, like an Asian style rib that yeah. they just kind of um, wo wove into the, the spick. So it's pretty, pretty cool. You can just use it for anything. All right, so that's good to go. I'm gonna take off my gloves. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put Can them. I yeah. assist you? Yeah, and that is pretty heavy, huh? It is hefty. It's not mm -hmm. going anywhere. No. Nope. And that's one of the great things about this brand specifically is the quality of their stainless. Mm -hmm. They're known to be a heritage piece, something that's gonna last for decades to come. All right, so we're gonna have that going. Great. Our chips are getting nice and smoky. Just gonna go ahead and close that. Okay. Let's clean this Now, up. did you put the chips in the hybrid grill port or did you have them? I have, I have them on the top first. Okay, so perfect. to ignite um, first and then we could go ahead and Wonderful. toss it in there. Mm -hmm. So just so everybody sees at home, there is a hybrid grill port on the bottom that you see here that is dual function for coal as well as wood chips. You have two ports, so you can actually use both simultaneously or separately depending on what you're cooking. So now we're gonna get started on the apple chutney, if you All don't right. mind. All right, I'm some fresh gloves. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good. So I might have to steal this recipe. I mean, that's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> to give you some ideas to Absolutely. help you out with Thanksgiving. I know, and I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I, I, I really love the idea of uh, cooking your Thanksgiving meal outside. I mean, it gets your husband to cook instead of just sitting <laughs> on the couch watching football. <laughs> um, so if you tell him you're making it on the grill, I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll volunteer, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> he'll volunteer to help you cook. Well, so that's I'm the whole experience, outdoor cooking, outdoor kitchens, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Keeps your house from getting too hot. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I'm gonna slice it. We're just gonna do apple slices like this. Okay. 
so I'll let you go ahead and finish that. We're actually gonna grill this. So instead of just cooking it down, we're gonna go ahead and grill it. It's gonna have that smoky flavor to it as well. Then I'll cut some of this bell pepper. All right. So this, just some green apples. We have some apple cider vinegar, then some ginger, some cayenne pepper, some uh, dry mustard, and then golden raisins. Ooh, so lots of flavors. And also, if we, if you have smaller pieces, uh, that's where the grill grates come in handy mm -hmm. because they do have the three different styles of grill grates. Can you walk us through what the three different styles are? Maybe what yeah. they're used for? Yeah, so it has three different ones. They're laser cut. Um, so we have one that's specifically for meats uh, and things like that. It gets that nice, really sear on it. Uh, we have one for vegetables um, so that way your vegetables aren't falling through. I don't know how many times I've lost veggies in my grill. <laughs> yeah. They just like fall right through, especially if you do like asparagus and green beans. And there's one for um, fish as well. And they also have an accessory for gr uh, griddle too. Yes. That you can order. So all of these, it comes with your standard grades, but you could order these extra. And I think it's a, it's a really nice thing to have. If you're gonna invest Absolutely. in the Kalamazoo, you should get, yeah, I think you should get the accessories. That way you have a full functioning um, grill. And that's the name of the game is versatility with this grill, is that you mm -hmm. you can do it all on this one piece. And yeah. so that's where it comes into play. So fajitas, you can chop them up, throw them on the grates mm -hmm. with the smaller fish grates, with the yeah. scales. And then if you, like you said, vegetables, meats, sears, proteins, all that mm -hmm. good stuff. The griddle so. would be great for that. If you have the griddle, you can also do pancakes on your grill. Oh, yeah. Again, we're like getting okay, so everyone we're do out the door. we're going to after this. <laughs> yeah, it's cool because you can get people out of your house. We're in Southern California, yes. so right now it's sunny and it's November. It's about 90 degrees outside. Yeah, I'll be spending like... Thanksgiving outside barbecuing. Yeah, yeah So exactly. here we are. <laughs> this is an all year kind of thing. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on the grill. Okay. So here's our smoke. So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to throw our wood chips down at the bottom. Perfect. So you see it's a it's smoking a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah, wanna make sure it fits. It's so the, the reserves that you see down below has a lot of perforation and that's the way you get a lot of oxygen flow to help with the smoking. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Oh I'm my gonna gosh. spray these grates a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. And if you wanna grab some of your apples. Sure. We'll just go ahead and Throw them on here as well. So this is the veggie grates, mm -hmm. the smaller perforated grates. I mean, nothing will fall through. Being that it's so heavy, the grill is gonna hold in all that heat. Absolutely. It has great quality stainless steel. Yeah. And it's really hard when you're barbecuing to open the hood and lose all that precious heat you've been working so hard for. Yeah. So it's great to have a really industrial, strong, robust system like this to make sure you're guaranteed precise cooking every time you're on the barbecue. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close that now because we don't want to lose that heat. So now we're gonna get ready for a glaze that we're gonna be putting on. So it's gonna take us about 45 to an hour. I want to get that temperature about 130 and then we're gonna go ahead and throw on the glaze and let it cook for another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, you could have pork a little uh, little pink in the inside. You don't want to overcook it because then it becomes dry. And yeah. Kind of like rough and chewy. Okay. So for the glaze, all we're gonna do is, I'll let you go ahead and do that. Okay. We're gonna throw two thirds cup of brown sugar. Perfect. And then this is balsamic glaze Ooh. and stone ground mustard. Yum, I would never have thought to put the two together. <laughs> this is all for apple chutney. Oh, perfect. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and grab a little spoon over Yum. here. Give that a little stir. That I can do. <laughs> I feel like you gave me the easy stuff. Yeah. But it's, I appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, it's super simple. We just kinda wanna yeah, show how- Yeah, anybody can do this. Yeah. So if you'd like, okay, we'll go ahead and just put nice that on the mixed. grill. Yeah. Right on the grill? Yeah, right All on the grill. All right, show me where to place her. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there. Right here? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and flip our apples. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Right? We'll do it all in one. That's my kind of cooking. <laughs> Less things to clean. Yeah. <laughs> Less those, surfaces to worry about. <laughs> look how beautiful those grill marks wow. are. Wow. And it, it was only literally on there for like two minutes. Now what we're gonna do, we're also gonna use the grill to make the chutney. Okay. Just grab a little pot for you. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put that over this flame right here because I want that to get nice and hot. Okay. And once it gets hot, we're gonna go ahead and add our onions. We're gonna saute them. We're gonna add our apple cider vinegar, let that kind of um, cook down. Add the ginger, add the raisins. And the apples are pretty much gonna be cooked. We're just gonna toss them in there for like three minutes. We're gonna chop them up, let them cool down, just toss it all in there. Super easy. Regarding the wood chips that you're using, mm -hmm. I know it really does a nice job of infusing some quick flavor in whatever you're cooking. Mm -hmm. But if you're a long-term smoker, you like to smoke for days at a time, 24 hours, Kalamazoo does have a smoker cabinet oh, yeah, in yeah. their product suite. So if you're a serious and you like to do layers of ribs and you have yeah. you know the full family coming over, oh yeah, that's where some of their other suite of products come into play, which is their their smoker cabinet. So we don't have one on here on display, but we do rot rotate it out periodically, and it has a dual ventilation system, which is great because you can control the heat mm -hmm. from top to bottom, which is super important when you're smoking. Yeah, you don't want to um, cook things too fast, or you know, absolutely. And we'll check our oh my blade. gosh. Who needs the gym when you got this? Right. Okay. Oh, look at our glaze is already nice and melted. How fast is that? Wow. So this is hot. I can hear it bubbling up. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in here. So this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Okay. Ooh, these apples are primo. I just want all this stuff to cook down together. Our golden raisins. Give it a, I feel like I'm like doing spins and stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm really doing a little dance for you guys. You guys get, uh, <laughs> you get dinner and a show. Yeah, you know what, Chef Kim? That's why we why why we have you on our team. You know? Yeah, you can cook and entertain. I'm a woman of all trades. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I might have lost one through the grates, but. <laughs> I think it'll incinerate. How did you manage to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Purposely They're designed like not to happen. Small cracks in there. I managed to get I'm not quite to sure. <laughs> if anybody could do it, it's me. That's yeah. definitely <laughs> accurate. Okay, I should be good. Then there's that one. Awesome. All right, we're gonna let that cook down. Once that cools down, we'll go ahead and chop it up. Oh I don't gosh. want you to burn your hands right now. No, so absolutely. Kind of to the side. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now that our apples are nice and cold, you can see that beautiful color right there, those grill marks. I'm gonna have you go ahead and you can just dice it up for me if okay. you don't mind. Or we could do it together. So we kinda, teamwork makes the dream work. Sure. I love those grill marks on there. Okay. And again, oh, the apples yeah. kinda get like a nice little smoked flavor to it too. I have never cooked apples before. I mean, I've done apple pies, but not to this degree. This is very cool. It's crazy what you can grill. You can do so much. <laughs> I know. So what can't you do on a grill? <laughs> ice cream. I mean, yeah, ice cream. <laughs> well, although you could cook, you cook, could the, cook ice... the milk and everything oh, together on the grill. That is very true. Um, and this, there's so much space on this grill. Oh my gosh, we could fit so much on here. You could put your whole Thanksgiving grill. Like a 20 pound turkey in there, you could do your ham. <laughs> well, they do have other sizes, which is great. So yeah. it can cater to your space outdoors. They have kitchen design available. So you can okay. actually do their stainless steel cabinets. You can do outdoor refrigeration. You can do um, other grilling components like the smoke, the pellet smoker, the Kamado grill. They pretty much have a full suite available so you can do your entire outdoor kitchen oh, with them. And I know a lot of people like to have everything matching. I think that some, to some yes. people it's really important. So there you go. <laughs> well, keeping the want, design integrity, yeah. having it all the same. And yeah, you can also upgrade their stainless to marine grade, which is very important for us here in Southern California oh, yeah. when you're in the, near the ocean. Mm -hmm. So you have great peace of mind if you did their entire suite in marine grade stainless. Yeah, they outside. don't have to worry about rusting. And Absolutely. Um, okay, so, so now what are we already have that chopped up. Okay. This looks, this is cooking down already. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my apples and my um, bell pepper in here. So what this is, is the golden raisins, Ooh. a little bit of that vinegar, some onions. You're kind of just gonna give that a quick toss. Great. And the apples are pretty much cooked, so. You're just kind of melding all the, yeah. <laughs> the flavors together. So I have some onion in there. I use Cipollini onions today because I just love them. They're so cute. I feel like they have a sweeter flavor. <laughs> and since the apples are pretty much cooked, that's it. We're just giving it a quick toss. Easy. You have your apple chutney, we could just set aside. All right, so let's close that back up. Ooh, look at that pork. Ooh, yummy, yummy. I see it and I smell it. Mm, I like it. I just love that smoke. Gosh, so good. Smoke everything. All right, Erica, so our pork has been in there for about 45 minutes. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of, or 
you know, put a little glaze on there, okay. sprinkle. <laughs> uh, just baste it with a little bit of that glaze and let it go for another about five to 10 minutes. You just kind of want that nice crust on there. Sure. So I went and go ahead and I threw in that brown sugar glaze in there just so it could get nice and melted. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful color. And then with the glaze, it's going to get even better color. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of dusting it with dusting a, it. Yeah. And I love that, that uh, Montreal, um, seasoning that we put on top of it because uh -huh. it gives it like a nice little crust. Sure. It's all about texture, color, smell, taste, Ugh. a little bit of everything. Just go ahead and put that off to the side. Let it go for another five minutes and then we'll take it off, let it rest and dive in. Yeah. Okay, Erica, so it's been about five minutes. That glaze is nice and crusty on there. Yum. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Take a peek. So what we'll do is we'll kind of just let that rest. Look at that. Oh, wow. Be careful because these are very hot. Absolutely. We're going to let that rest. You never want to cut into your meat right away because then you're just releasing all those juices. Eyes doing so good. So once this is this is nice and rested, we'll slice it up. We'll put that beautiful apple chutney that we worked on that we got those nice sear marks on there. Mm -hmm. um, with those dragon grates, it gets up to about 800 degrees. So there's no need for like a searing zone or anything like that. Sure. So you're not, you're not just having one side of your grill specifically to like searing. You could use those dragon burners. I mean, it gets so hot. I mean, we grill those apples in like five minutes, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So Okay, Erica, so we are going to take this off of here. So we're just going to pull this off. Okay. So it looks so yummy. Ugh. This is nice and rested, ready for us to slice. About how long do you usually rest it for? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Should hopefully slide off, probably not, because, you know, I'm on camera, so I'm going to think, oh, there you go. Watch your... <laughs> I'll get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to stab you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the butcher's twine off. Do you mind handing me those scissors? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, this oh. tastes so good. It's like unwrapping a present. Right? My, <laughs> my kind of present. I know. I'll take food over anything any day. <laughs> so this is just like a Wow. Wrapping a flavor. Got that smoky, oh, sweet, the mustard. Okay. So I have the chutney in there. Do you mind stirring it? Absolutely. So we're just warming up the apple chutney a little oh, bit. Okay, I've thoroughly stirred. All right. Would you like me to bring it over? Sure. I'm just kind of cutting this guy up. It's perfectly cooked. Oh, so good. Had enough time to rest. So as you can see, you don't have all this juice coming out of there. It's just evenly distributed in there. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, what a nice surprise. I love mm -hmm. it. I'm gonna keep it's this glistening. Mm -hmm. You can see the moisture. Yeah, look Nothing's at that. running out. Ooh, that looks so good. So what we'll do is just spread it out there evenly, add a little bit of that apple chutney, some herbs, maybe some flowers. Make it look nice and pretty. You could take some of that glaze and like sprinkle it on top. Oh yeah. Some molten sea salt. Oh, this is so juicy. <sighs> so good. <laughs> look at that. So we'll take some of this. And just kind of, you think we should put it on top or on the side? I think a what little do you bit think? of both. I yeah, think right? we, uh, we dress it up. Do you want to pull out that glaze and then we could sure. put some of that glaze on it? Yeah. Oh gosh, this is going to be so good. And this is an awesome Thanksgiving dish. You can even have it as like a side dish if somebody doesn't like turkey. Um, it's inexpensive. You can make it look beautiful. Tastes good if you're cooking it right in the Kalamazoo grill. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> the smells, the smells. Ugh. I think we did wonderful. Look at that. Wow. How beautiful that looks. So this serving's for me, right? Not Yeah, this okay. is just for you. <laughs> Look how nice that looks. I mean, just so juicy and it has so much flavor in there. Apple mustard, some of that brown sugar Absolutely. in there. Oh my goodness. And everything kind of plays off of each other. You have the reflection of the red from the bell pepper. Mm -hmm. You have the brightness from the herbs that you've plated with it. Yeah. And then the smell, the aroma. Yeah, and then the, I love the grill marks on the apple. It just kind of gives it like a little oomph. Good job, Chef Kim. Thank you. Thank you You killed it with the recipe <laughs> today. And thanks for letting me assist you. Of course. That's our Thanksgiving feast, folks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for previewing this with us. I think this does a wonderful job of showing the versatility of the Kalamazoo. And Chef Kimberly just really highlighted how 
easy it is mm -hmm. to cook it in your outdoor kitchen, especially when you have professional grade products at your fingertips. Yeah, so, don't let the bells and whistles um, discourage you from trying out to, you know, trying out just yeah. simple foods that you do on a regular Thanksgiving um, night or Christmas or just Absolutely. during the, the holidays. It's like totally something you can do outdoors. Like, don't be discouraged. I mean, Kalamazoo, everything is pretty much done for you. All you have to do is throw your food on there. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. If you guys are interested in tuning in later, um, we might have some follow-up on our mm -hmm. Kalamazoo and Solana Beach. Also, if you're interested in these products we showed today, you can go to our website and make an appointment with a sales consultant. Yeah, go to perch.com, set an appointment, and we'll get you set up. You can even come in and watch the You might the, see uh, Chef Kim. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we've been running around all showrooms. So, again, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. <laughs> This is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.